it's a beautiful summer's afternoon here in this little hidden secret garden and I love it. I love the colours, I love the space, I love the wind in the trees. I love the fact that you have a space where you're in a town and yet you have a bubble. And honestly, unless you knew I was here, you wouldn't know I was here. I don't get to come here very often and even when you do, the weather in the UK is not always like this. There are other places like Maui, for example, in Hawaii where it's virtually always sunshiny. Now this garden has changed. When I first came here as a young boy, we had nettles that were taller than me. Brambles and ferns, and you couldn't even see the garden. You couldn't see the edge of the boundaries. As we cleared it, many of my parents with help from us as kids, uh, we eventually stumbled into a pond. And down here where these bamboos are, there actually used to be a pond. Now over the years, the leaves have come in and the pond has filled up. This area still gets quite damp, which is why we have these different vegetation down here. I love that hidden behind there, these little violets. And one thing I love about being down here is you start to see how nature actually works. You start to see how life works. You start to see how seemingly without doing anything, things move and grow. And I still remember these sort of early seedlings getting planted. And these trees were not this high when I was here 20 years ago. But today they are, they're enormous. So what has that got to do with your life, your business? Well. Often when we seed an idea, we think we see how it's gonna end up. We have a plan. Sometimes we even put hours and days and years, decades into moving forward the plan and a project plan, putting a team together, the resources to move it forward. And yet the universe, life, people, will do what they do with your plan. There are these things that happen that are sometimes beautiful, magical, semi accidents. These violets popping through different plants, coming together, creating things that grab your attention things that actually have you go wow this works for me but we get to choose we get to say we have to observe and it's so easy to think we have to do all the work and you can see these neighbors fences that have come in here to protect the boundaries of nature and life but that's great but that's not how nature works and if you came here maybe a few years maybe a decade maybe a hundred years from now unless somebody maintained those boundaries it's almost certain almost guaranteed that they're going to go because that's what generally nature does, it moves things. Nature is in change, nature is in a constant state of flux. Things growing, things recycling, things evolving. And that's true in nature, it's true in virtually every area of life when we notice it from that perspective. And sometimes you have to take a bigger view, you have to take a wider angle to see what's going on. So if I'd started with this little video today and all I'd done was show you this bench, and gone, here we are, we're on a bench in the garden. You might think you understand what's going on, but it's not until you start to get a wider perspective to see things from different angles that you get another view and go, ah, now I understand. Well, that's true in a snapshot. If I was to leave the camera here running, just like that, and I left the camera here aiming here, pointing here for the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year, the next decade, then, You'd have a chance to see the garden go and grow, have different things come to and through it, watching the plants change, different ones arising in different seasons, sometimes trees losing their leaves, other things staying evergreen. But even then, would you understand all of what the garden can be? The answer is almost certainly no. So how do we apply that to ourselves? Well, I think what we can do is get clear on a focus and we can start looking at whether that is seemingly working and producing the result we're looking for or not. We can look to other people. The models they've left off as what hasn't worked and what has. And then we get to choose. And I'm very present to the fact that today, the world is not like it was a few days ago, a few months ago, a few years ago. And yet many people are still trying to live a life the same way they did a few months, years and decades ago. Now the truth of it is, the future is much like the past, as Jim Rohn said, challenges and opportunities. But inside of that, there's a huge number of things to deal with. And often, just in the moment when you think you've got it all handled, you're surfing the wave and it's all great, something might come up to surprise you. I know I've had some of those in the last few hours, and it's been quite interesting to notice that. I do think we get a chance to learn how to manage our state, to discover how we can be more responsive and more masterful. Not passive, not in a state of it doesn't matter, but understanding that everything counts, and we get to say, we get to focus our attention in time and make the differences we can, which might be from listening and looking to begin with.
looking and listening and learning before we jump to assumptions and jump into action. And sometimes what there is to do is take a breath and enjoy the moment. So I'm going to enjoy this heat wave here in the UK, enjoy the garden, do some Tai Chi, have a swim, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.